Well, after living in Japan, I felt uh, I had confidence to go places alone when I couldn't speak the language. I felt I'd developed that confidence to do that. And I love traveling. So I thought, why not try a new place? I'd been to Asia. Okay. Not everywhere, but I tried. So I wanted to go to a new continent. And I went to South America. And it was amazing. I met, when you get, when you stay in hostels, they're not very fancy. Maybe you have to share a bed room with other travelers. But I love meeting people from lots of different countries. Mm. So you, you become friends very quickly. You meet people in these hostels and they're often traveling alone as well. And you can have a great time with them and drink with them and go sightseeing with them and just have a great, you end up, I've got lots of friends from lots of different countries now that I met when I was in that trip. So it was good. Nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next question. Okay. Do you think Japanese, how they speaking English as a English level, do you think it's progressing? Mm. How, I how, think... how do you think Japanese English skills now? I think, well, I know that Japanese people study English for a long time at school. So everybody has quite a solid education of English. But I can't understand why people don't speak more English. Because how, how many years do people study English for at school in Japan? It, it starts from age wise of 12. So from 12 until. Until uh, 16. Oh no, um, 17. 17. So from 12 until 17. People are studying yeah. English. Yeah, people study English. But, mm, I think the focus is more on grammar and on writing and reading. And there's not so much focus on conversation. Mm. So I think the level is good. I think Japanese people understand a good amount of English. But I think in schools they should focus more on the conversation as well because I don't feel Japanese people are so good at uh, using the English they know. They know a lot of English but they're not so confident to speak and use it. Uh, but I do think that's improving because now there are a lot more um, conversation schools, a lot more people studying English for a hobby, a lot more native English speakers living in Japan, mm. a lot more Japanese people traveling. So for sure that's going to improve and it's improving. So do you think that the uh, how to teach English to the Japanese people would, would be more like um, not using the textbook and teaching them in more like the English of what people actually speak? As in... I think that would be more useful. Do you know what would be really good? If there was more study abroad options. Mm. So in England or in Europe, most children have an opportunity to do a exchange. Oh, so they'll, right, go and, right. they'll go and live for a week or two at another school with another child in France or Germany or somewhere. And then, and then that child will come and stay with you and your family. They do like a, an exchange. Oh, that's good and idea. I, yeah. Japan is a long way from England, so I understand it might be expensive and difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they had more opportunities to interact or travel, if they went to California for two weeks when they were 15 or something like that, mm. and then maybe an American person goes and stays with them again and they make like a pen friend, pen pal, something like that, to write letters to. Yeah. <laughs> I think that would be, from a younger age, 
get them more exposed to travel and international communication. It would be it would, that would be the best thing, in my opinion. As much as you are younger, it's a time、mm. that you start learning another language. It's it's much better than start it in、oh, so、yeah. that you're getting older. Yeah, it's hard when you're older. That's what I heard. Goodness me! Like, yeah, that's what I heard. A story from the the school I went. Yeah, the teacher there told us. That yeah, yeah. You, you don't. You think, break. You you shouldn't think that you gotta get the hundred percent. Yeah, like you, you're never going to speak English like me, <laughs> and I'm never going to speak Japanese like you. <laughs> <laughs> But you can get good. You can get maybe eighty percent. Or ninety percent, and that's okay. That's all right. But when you're a child, it's so much easier. I think perfection in studying language in industries it doesn't need. No, it takes away the magic as well. Because I love talking to someone when you can hear their accent. I like it. It's some of their personality and some of their culture. Japanese students used to ask me. I don't want to have a Japanese accent. How can I sound like I'm American, or how can I sound like I'm English? And I used to say, "But you're not English. You're not American. You're Japanese. So what, why do you want to?" I, I, I understand they want to become more fluent, but I think your accent is part of your identity. So if I was in Japan, I don't want to sound like a Japanese person.、Mm. I want to sound like an English person that can speak Japanese. But I, I think it's depending on the what meaning of being fluency is,、mm. right? And I think it's a good goal to speak perfectly, or as close to perfectly as you can. But I don't think you need to lose your accent to do that.、Mm. Like you, you could speak perfect English in a Japanese accent. And I'd think, ah,、oh, this is a Japanese person speaking perfect English, and that's that's okay, as long as it's clear, as long as you can understand yeah, it. Could it clear? Yeah. Or、oh, one last question, bro. Mhm. What teaching English in Japan meant to you? Oh, big question. <laughs> 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 What did teaching English in Japan mean to me? Oh, it was life-changing.、Mm -hmm. It meant everything to me at the time. My whole life for two years was living in Japan, teaching, learning the language, making friends, making memories that will last a lifetime. I think so. It meant everything to me.、It、changed my life. For the better, and taught me many things.、Mm. And I would highly recommend it to anybody. Highly recommend、Japan. it. <laughs> yeah. <Japan. laughs> Or like what you're doing is like somebody who is influencer on the on the SNS saying like this is what I recommend. You should use it. <laughs> <laughs> It's my recommendation. Travel travel somewhere because it changes you. It may. Teaches you a lot, and you realise that although Japan and England, or any countries, although their language is different and the culture is different, pe people are the same really. Like deep down, yeah, you yeah. can have a friendship or a bond with people from anywhere. We're not so different, are we? Yeah, yeah, we, we are the same. We are. <laughs> This has been fun. This has been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been quite a while. Hmm. What time is it now? It has England. Is that still like summer time? It's looking around. Uh, it's a little bit cold. It's still summer time, but the weather's turned now. It's not. It's not so good. We're coming into autumn. It's eleven a.m. Yeah, where? Yeah. And、right. do you know what? It was my birthday yesterday. Oh, happy birthday! Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-four, thirty-four years old. Forty-four. Too old.、Uh, <laughs> no, not not yet. Not yet.、Mm. No, my back's aching, and 
knees are hurting. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> Got grey hair coming through on the side now, but yeah. that's life. Right. Say la vie. <laughs> what, what do you see the future in from now on? The 34 years old of yourself. Yeah, the future. Well, I guess settling down, mm. having a calm life, work all the time, <laughs> family maybe in a few years. Uh, and I would tell my children, if I have them, that they, they should travel. Hopefully one day they can visit Japan also. Do you, do you, do you think you're going to teach them Japanese or something? If I can remember any, then definitely <laughs> teach them. <laughs> no, why, why not just teach them the, the thing you know about, right? For example, like uh, how to do a kendo. Oh yeah, I'll what, definitely. What's the kendo spirit? They want them to do a martial art. Spirit. Absolutely, to yeah. For sure, I'll try and teach them that, and I'll try to teach them. I would love them to do a martial art, mm. uh, so they learn the discipline. And the self-control <clears throat> and the self-defense, and I would love them to do that. Uh, yeah, I hope they do. Cool. I hope they do. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. I think it's better to towards the end. Comes to towards the end. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me do this with you, Shinya. You're oh, a good man. Totally. Yes. That, that's my word. Thank you for your, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your coming and thank you for your time. Even though you you are my... getting busy. My pleasure. Anytime. Mm. We could do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally fine. That. Ne next time I'll come to Tokyo and we'll do it live. Right, right. That'd be nice. But uh, you need to need to buy a ticket first. <laughs> 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 see you Thank from you very Tokyo much, and you'll see you from Nottingham. Yeah. I hope this was useful. Yeah. I yeah. enjoyed doing it. Have a have a nice so, rest of the days. You too, Shinya. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs>